For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns. Major meltdown in the markets today. 767 points on the Dow Jones Industrials. Let's get into a discussion about what happened in the markets. So we had some trade tariff talk that spooked everybody, got the markets rolling lower. Bunch of things came together. There was a confluence of a disappointment with the Fed announcement uh, last week combined with additional tariffs fear that the Chinese are indeed going to devalue their currency. That's something I talked about quite a bit on the Traders Expo and on the Money Show Video Network interviews. You can go back and review those if you feel like it, but basically what I was saying then was the more tariffs we throw at them, the more they're going to let their currency slide in order to take out the effect of those tariffs, and that is really what spurred what happened today. So let me just say, we're not here to gloat about the fact that we made money today and a lot of people wound up losing it. We're not investors, we're traders. We trade the markets and that's what we're gonna talk about right now. So let's get into the charts and have a look at what happened today at TraderInsight.com in the first hour trading pit. Here we go, you're looking at a chart of Apple. So Apple Incorporated, ticker symbol AAPL. This one, once again, what you want to do first thing in the morning is focus on what's going on in the pre-market. The pre-market is bracketed off here roughly by this area. This shows us where the value line is going to be going into the open of the session. What I do is I try to get everybody in the room on the same page with this stuff and say, look, we've got a pre-market high up here. We've got pre-market lows down in the bottom of this range. And then we have sort of a center line that we're looking at right up around 198.52. So the first thing we did this morning was said, well, what is the opening trend? Today it was obvious, right? You should be able to just take a look at a chart and eyeball the fact that we're moving lower into the open. It was no secret we were going to be down 300 points right on the opening bell on the major indices. That was going to be bad news for everybody. Apple is very, very sensitive to all of this China stuff. So we knew ahead of time our bias was going to be to the short side on this. Now let's look at what we got into once the market opened. So we had this uh, level down here, this 197.60, excuse me, uh, possible entry that we talked about before the market opened. This was not an easy one to catch right out of the gate because the market opened and the, uh, you know, the data was really, really flying. It did give us a very clean shot right down to 196.78 on the second bar of trading. I know a lot of you were able to catch these trades today. Congratulations, that makes me really happy. But uh, once we had the 196.78 print in place, we had booked uh, you know, a significant profit right out of the gate. So we were looking for our next opportunity. So then we had to wait for the market to settle in a little bit because you don't know that this low is going to be in place until that low is in fact in place. What it did though was gave us the opportunity to wait for some additional trades. We had the rebound up into the range here, gave us a nice infield fly set up on the short side of the market. There was another dollar to be made in Apple on that short and we had lots and lots of sort of inside trades that we talked about as that was rolling out. So constantly focus on where do you see the market making inflections as the market is moving in one direction or the other, as it's moving lower, right? You just always want to look for it to come back up into the range. Once you get this kind of price action happening, it should be very obvious where your inflections are and what it is that you're looking for. So great day shorting Apple today. I hope that uh, you don't have a ton of Apple in your retirement account. But, uh, you know, that being said, I hope you were able to jump on and grab hold of these fantastic opportunities for profit first thing in the morning. Now let's look at our Baltimore Chop opening gap. Today I selected one and only one Baltimore Chop 2SD opening gap to focus on. This was Tyson Foods Incorporated, ticker symbol TSN. Right off the open, we had an earnings related gap higher. That gave us a two standard deviation move in terms of the volatility that the uh, stock was expecting and put us in position for a profitable short sale on this one right below the low of those first uh, three bars. 
we had a, uh, a low in there at about $83.78. The problem was, you know, in terms of setting a stop on this, we were looking up at $84.63 with an $83.17 target. Not acceptable. So what did we do in the room but focus on the fact that we had significant volume by price data going off right over on the right side of the chart here. So it was this little plateau right there that told us if price gets back above there, we're going to have trouble. It's going to wind up shooting back up into the range. So if we get up above this line, our expectation is that we're going to shoot up there and probably wind up doing something like this, which is what it did over the course of the session, even in the face of the bad market. But uh, the short sale on this right down below those lows targeted uh, $83.17. I drew that line wrong. But uh, our target was, of course, the open of that first bar of trading. It was actually 83.17 from an entry at $83.74. So nice gain on this 2SD opening gap in Tyson Foods. And now let's take a look at the, uh, the final trade that we had. This one was a stocks to watch. So here it is from the Around the Horn trading plan. This is Kohl's Corporation, ticker symbol KSS. This one had a bunch of nice stuff going on today. First and foremost, you had the opportunity right off the opening bell to catch that pivot inflection and add better than 50 cents per share of additional profitability to the trade. If you didn't do that, if you just got in at the levels that we were looking for, you were taking a 48.97 entry on this and you were short down to $48.01. So as you see there, we got down exactly to the profit target and inflected. Bunch of people wanted to know, you know, how do you do this? How do you keep picking exactly where this thing is gonna bump? Go through the Income Trading Academy, go through your bootcamp notes, make sure that you understand the relationship between what you're expecting a stock to do today and what it did in the past. Make sure that you're digging into the volume and taking a look at all the relevant factors. And this should be a no-brainer for you to go through and come up with as many very precise inflection points as you're gonna see on that Around the Horn trading plan when you go back through the archives. Then we also had the opportunity here a couple times to play the bounces when it got up to the pivot line. We had a pivot inflection. Like I told you in the room, you know, this is not the same as an inflection at the central pivot. Central pivot inflection gonna be more meaningful but no reason not to take this trade on the short. Where would you put your stop on an entry from that pivot line? Stop loss should be right up around there. So a 48.72 stop, that's because that's where it inflected the last time when it got up above. That middle bar there is the tell. And then when you get that next bar in place, what you're hoping for is exactly what wound up happening, that you get this double header reversal down and out gets you back into the trading range that the stock settled into in the morning, and you get the opportunity for a nice wave move lower. So two trips on this one for additional profits, one from the pivot on the open and one from that 48.63 pivot for the second go around. So that's the, uh, the first support and second support levels. Both of those wound up being really good inflection points on the trade. So there you have it. I hope that makes today a lot clearer for everybody. Like I said, we had a banner day. Let's hope we have lots more good days uh, coming up this week. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, adrian at traderinsight.com. Hope you had a great trading day today and an even better one on deck for tomorrow. This is the best trader education anywhere, only from traderinsight.com.